Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to do uh, the scatter chart in Power BI. So uh, it is actually specifically applying to the kind of uh, scatter chart that I have done in the past uh, for the uh, salary structure floating bar chart with employee data. So you can see that we have all the um, salary structure bars on the back end, and then we have all the individual dots that represents different employees uh, salaries in different um, grades. So this is how, so I have this video to show you how to do that in Excel. And then now we are learning about Power BI. And what I find out um, is that it's actually not as intuitive as you think in Power BI to do this. So for example, uh, you see in the visualization here, um, there is a scatter chart kind of chart, which you think you might, you will be able to pull up the same chart. And then now I have a sample data set here. I have all my employees. I have their salaries. Um, I have their job levels. You can see some of them are in the same job level. So I would expect um, multiple charts for each job level, but let's see what I get. So my level job level will be X axis. G1, grade one, grade two, grade three, da, da, da. And then my salary should be in the Y axis, which would be something looking like this. Um, it is not looking right because for example, if you look at G2, level G2, I have two dots. One is at 38, one is at 42. The number here is actually showing me the sum. I don't want the sum, I want the individual dots. So th this is not gonna be working for my purpose. And the reason for that is that actually for the scatter chart that's embedded in Power BI, it only accommodates X and Y axis that's numerical. So your salary is numerical, that's fine, but then your X axis also needs to be numerical for it to work. So you can either change it to like one, two, three, four, five, to make a chart work, or you can do a customized visual, which I'm gonna show you today. And we need this because sometimes your salary um, uh, job level will not always be numbers. It can be a tax like what you're seeing here. So that's why we still need to do um, the scatter chart even if our job level is not a number. Okay, so now let me show you how we can do that. To do that, you actually need uh, need to do some to um, need some help from online tools. Um, it is called Charticular.com. It's a Microsoft tool that's free to use. Uh, alternatively, I find that you can do exactly the same thing in Power BI Tips, which is of course also from Microsoft. Both of them are free. Uh, works in the same manner. So. Let's try it. So let me start from scratch. So this is the, if you, I'll paste the link uh, in the description so you can go there after seeing this. Uh, but this is the interface. And then now actually I'm gonna pull up a sample uh, employee data sheet. So here I have my employee ID, my job level, you can see also it's tax, it's not number and my salary uh, numbers. Note that I have to save this as a CSV format file for it to be uploaded to um, this online tool. If it's Excel um, format, it doesn't work. Okay, so now let's find out my data. I'm importing my CSV data. This is how it's gonna look like. Um, my job level is a stream, that's fine. You, you wanna make sure your salary um, number is a number. Okay, once you have the data um, uploaded, go down and then it's gonna lead you to this uh, page. This is the defaulted title. If you don't need it, um, and actually for our purpose we don't because uh, Power BI has embedded title for us, so we can just delete this. So this wouldn't show. Yeah, and then now let's plot our scatter chart. So, our, um, so first it needs to be a, a symbol so let's click on this and then just click here so you have a center. So here um, you can adjust how you want it to look like. For example, it can be circle, it can be a cross, or it can be a triangle, whatever that you want. So for my purpose, I want circle. You can also adjust the size of it. You can make it large or small. For my purpose, I'll just put 60. And then you can also change the um, color of it. So I'll choose um, red for my purpose. Uh, and the next thing you want to do is to define your X and Y axis. So for my 
x, um, axis I want to drag this to here until it's showing orange so that it shows me the different job titles. Uh, if this order is not what you want, that's fine. We can adjust the order in Power BI, which I have shown you in one of the previous uh, videos. Um, and then we let's drag the salary into the IX axis. Yeah, and then now we can see all the dots are lined up. So those are the salaries for our employees at uh, different job levels. So this is perfect. Um, one thing I want to add is the data labeling. I want to show how uh, the value is for each of my dots. So if I want to do that, you don't have to do it, but if you want to do that, add a tax box and it's um, click to drop it here and then drag the salary in here so that your tax box is looking right. And then you can drag the um, location of it to make sure it looks as what you want. And then you can also change the fund of your um, the fund of your data. You can change the size of your data. And then let's say, um, okay, let me see. Let's say I want to change it to nine. And then let's say it, it by default, it's one decimal space. Let's say I don't want it. Uh, I just want it to be an integer number. So you go to the tax and then you see, uh, go to the end where you see one F. If you want just no decimal space, just change it to zero and then it's gonna show just the number like it is. Um, so you can, I, I always prefer to leave it here so that um, it can show uh, some details of my number. So then, um, okay, so now let's say this is the format that we want for our scatter uh, chart in Power BI. Now um, it looks ready. Then now let's export it. So this is where you go to export it. You want to go to export as a customer visual. Uh, one thing you do need to watch out is how you define the categories. So for example, for my chart, um, I want it to be a little bit more general. So what instead of job level, I'll just say data category. And then for the salary, again, I want it to be more general as well. So I will say data uh, point. And then uh, I have my tax. Yeah, I have my tax. Uh, actually for my tax, it's gonna be the value of my data, which I can also define here. So you go here, you see the tax, you can say data value here. Uh, and then when you export it, go back. Yeah, and then it's gonna show data value here. And then let's say we enable the drill down, we enable the function, you can choose the visual name. Let's say scatter plot. You can choose description, you can put you in your name, you can even put on um, customized icon for it. I'll just go as it is. And then you can export as Power BI custom visual. So it's gonna ask you, um, it's gonna save as the Power BI custom visual file format. And um, I'm gonna just save it as it is, save. Okay, okay, so now it's saved. Now let's come back to our Power BI and uh, make this work. So this is how the default uh, scatter chart looks. Let's import. So now let's come here and get more visuals. Go to the three dots, import a visual from a file, import, and then it's gonna direct us to what we just saved. Okay, successfully import it, and then you see the icon here. This is what we just um, made as a visual. So now you can, when you click on that, it's gonna show you whether you wanna put in your data category, your data points, uh, two tips, da, da, da. So for our category, it's gonna be the job level. Uh, data points gonna be the salary. And then once you put in here, voila, uh, it shows you the data, um, the data one by one instead of showing the sum or the average of everything. And then you also have the title, which you can change here. If you don't like what, what you're seeing here, you can change your title uh, and uh, you can get rid of that title or you can rename it, whatever. 
and uh, you can also make further adjustment to um, the format of the chart itself. Okay, cool. So um, that is everything I want to share with you today about how to do a customized scatter plot in Power BI. Um, and I hope that is helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.